Good evening, my friends, and welcome back to the frozen and suspiciously vanilla, <laughs> not for long, landscape of Subnautica Below Zero. Today, I'm in the pursuit of a bunch of mods, and I've already done a modded video on Below Zero some time ago, but now since the game is fully out, I decided to go revisit some of those mods, see if they still function in this game, and see if we can find some others to completely break it, of course. And the first on our list, I'm sure you've known about this one if you've ever done any Subnautica modding or just looked at the Nexus page, we have the map mod and yeah, it still works just as well as you'd think. If you decide to turn the fog off, you can actually get the topographic view of the entire Sector Zero or at least the accessible part, I'm not, not quite sure what's going on up there. But this can be a really handy tool when exploring, so definitely one worth checking out. And now for our next selection, you might notice if you look at the bottom of my screen, that the um, quick slots, as you may call them, are looking a little different than usual, and by different I just mean there's more of them. And this is the Slot Extender mod, a super handy tool if you just want more things at your immediate disposal, as in you can just press a button and have them available. Very nice, 10 out of 10. And the next up on our list, do you ever find yourself at a place that would be really cool as a base location, but unfortunately you just can't build there? Like, maybe you would want a base right here next to this giant iceberg, and you kind of want it to slightly bury into the side so it's not just floating around. Well, by default, you can't do that, but with the mod Terraforming Below Zero, you can. If I was to maybe choose this multi-purpose room and decide to just, I don't know, build it right here, what you might notice is that the terrain suddenly kind of dodged out of the way to create sufficient space for what I'm trying to build. Want to attach another hallway that goes right here? Well, sure, you can, absolutely no problem, and this mod will now tunnel the space for you. You can even set how much space you want between the compartment and the base itself. By doing this, you can actually create some pretty interesting base builds, like whatever this monstrosity is that I've created here, which essentially cuts directly through the iceberg and meets on the opposing ends. So, hey, if you want to do something like this, or maybe have a base that's completely hidden inside of an iceberg, this mod is definitely a good choice. Okay, what the heck is this? Y guys, okay, come clean. Who did this? Who, who, <laughs> who, who did this? There is still time to repent your sins. Just come clean, tell me, and we can get rid of whatever this abhorrent abomination is. Uh, now this mod, called Citrag Arms, and that's exactly what you think it would do. You can now place arms onto your sea truck and uh, basically have them do whatever you want them to do, as if though it was just a prawn suit. Yeah, this this is not... God did not intend for this. I, I'm not even... Moving on, next mod. You know what? Yeah, which... Be gone, cursed item. Moving right along, the Snow Fox is a super cool vehicle that allows you to kind of cruise around on land and... Have a jolly good time while exploring the frozen wastelands, but don't you ever feel like it might be a little too limiting? Like, the distance and areas that you can actually cover with it are, well, not as many as there could be. Whee! Well, if that is your case, the mod Super Snow Fox might be the one for you. Not only does it add a ton of customizability to your Snow Fox, but also, um... Okay, well, it kind of adds the ability to hover on water. I mean, it might not be perfect, um, but it works! <laughs> Look at that! Now again, all of this is highly customizable in the options menu, and if you don't want it to hover on water because you don't feel like that's immersive enough, you can totally disable it. But hey, if you really just want a good all-around surface vehicle for Subnautica, that also allows you to go on top of water, which means you can cover distances super quickly. Like, I mean, look at the speed that I'm zooming past these items with, holy crap. This is definitely a good choice. Now, if you've ever watched one or two of these modded videos, you're probably expecting, at around this point in the video, for me to whip something out that's completely going to break the game. And, of course, I will not disappoint. For we are here with the mod Custom Commands, which, as the name suggests, just add a bunch of commands into the game that you can use to, well, essentially just break it, really. I mean, let's give it a shot. Well, see, <laughs> what, what had just happened uh, was, uh, uh, it's, uh, okay, so it's a little hard to explain, but two, two things have happened. Number one, my character is now a, a, a teensy bit bigger. And number two, for some reason, whenever I take control of her, the, the outpost disappears. 
I mean, if you've ever wanted to reenact Attack on Titan in Subnautica, this is a pretty good way to do it. Ah, yes. <laughs> I am the giant one, indeed. They were worried about the Leviathan, but it was Robin that came out of the sea. She was the true Leviathan all along. My god. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And from the dark water she rose, and as their screams filled the air, they could see nothing. But the, t <laughs> the towering body of Robin. My god, look at this. I don't know why you would ever want to do this. Well, let's just be honest, but if you would, you can. And, and that's what really counts in Subnautica modding. As you might have noticed, this also works with Creek. As you might have noticed, this also worked with creatures. So, you know, if at some point you felt like the cholesterol wasn't large enough, um, you can you can fix that. You can turn it into the freaking world serpent. See, even though that's absolutely terrifying, it's fine because it's nothing that cannot be solved with a pocket cryptosicus. And there it goes. <laughs> See, what just happened is... I just, I just picked it up. Yeah, that's... That, that's, that's pretty much exactly what happened. Um, like I said, this mod comes with a lot of commands that you can use and abuse, as I am doing right now. And so yeah, if you, for example, want to have like a pocket sea track that you can pick up and just carry around, why not? Go at it. Now with that, if you'll excuse me, I will uh, jump into my submarine here. Yeah, yeah, that looks... Looks about right, yeah. Don't really, don't really see any issues there. Um, Robin is known to be very stretchy, so... Uh, nothing wrong here. Oh my god, that's where it went. Oh, that's terrifying. It's freaking Godzilla. Ah, well, it's no match for my small sea truck. But with that, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. So I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. And if there are other mods that you want me to check out or other ideas for videos that you have, please make sure to leave those down in the comments as well. I'd very much like to read them. Now with that, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.